It's Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Vocal Chords with Peggy Houston. The Beatles, Let It Be. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, yeah, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Okay, it's almost impossible to have a list of your favorite songs <laughs> and ignore the Beatles. No way. <laughs> Especially if you're a songwriter, too. It'd just be bad form. Mm -hmm. So I had to have them on there. I mean, it was just a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the song. It's really simple, understated, um, and I love the message, which to me is uh, talking about when you're struggling, when you're alone, when you're in times of trouble, mm -hmm. to just surrender and just let it let it be. Mm -hmm. um, and I was raised Catholic, so that Mother Mary part, you know, that, <laughs> that background for me. <laughs> so um, it's a it's a beautiful song. I mean, the melody and the lyrics are just both beautiful to me. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember the first time you heard the Beatles? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie. Do, do you remember when maybe uh, you first became aware how important they were, either as a singer songwriter or just as someone uh, as a listener? Um, I don't remember them when I was. You know, like in the 60s and 70s, when I was starting to really pay attention to the radio and everything, I remember hearing more, um, like, I think my parents were really hippies then, so, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ Superstar, and, <laughs> and uh, my older brothers and sisters were playing things like Led Zeppelin mm -hmm. and, and um, Peter Frampton and mm -hmm. things like that. So it's almost like the Beatles are beyond that you know it's kind of like they're so much higher than everyone else or something that mm -hmm. um they always permeate your life or something <laughs> it's like there's not this one time when you're remembering them or something mm -hmm. well, was it tough actually picking this song or does this song represent how they it, it, how they uh, influence you as a whole or is it does this stick out for any particular reason Probably because of the message, um, mm -hmm. because more recently I've started writing songs that are, have a spiritual message, and, mm -hmm. and it's it's fun to look back at these older songs and say, hey, wait a minute, they had a spiritual message, they had that consciousness then, mm -hmm. too, um, whether I had it or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's yet to be determined. Yes. <laughs> is, is that a thing that we'll see through all these songs, uh, kind of a spiritual message? Several, okay. several of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of going back and, and looking back with this new perspective. Mm -hmm. um, if something's really meaningful, if it's really deep, um, if it has a, a really unique message, I get kind of bored with um, the same old formula, you know, mm -hmm. with lyrics or melody. So mm -hmm. if it's um, if it's different, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's a big part too. 